plan. I talked about doing this, but yesterday I finally got around to picking up some acorns because I knew it was going to rain. I figured, well, I better get them before they get rained on. Plus, these were kind of in a way here where I drive and I didn't want to crush them all. But what I'm doing today now is taking that shell off. Uh, you know, they got a kind of a husk. And it works to get the knife in the tip and get it started. And then I split them. There's a kind of a seam. Whoop, easy. No, oh, back, back. Ah, oh, you gotta be a nuisance. Go on, Junior, you're in the way. No, no, you don't. Get out of there. There's water all over you. Don't need to drink that. Okay, there. Hopefully, you'll leave me alone. Every time I start talking, you know, they gotta check it out. I think I'm talking to them. You know, the picking them up wasn't bad, except you're crawling around on the ground. It's a little hard on the knees because you're climbing into all the holes. Be a good job for little kids. Boy, it's going to take a while to. I'm not going to do them all like this. Uh, I've got them sitting in a wheelbarrow now so they can dry, you know, because I think if they dry, they're going to be easier because uh, a lot of times I see them once they start drying they, they get a crack in them. I think it'll be easier to haul them out. Though they aren't, they aren't that bad. I got a shell in I didn't need. And the thing I'm dropping them into is this uh, I don't really know what it's called. You know, it's a it's a kettle with a perforated kettle that goes inside. So it's like a double boiler with perforations in it. I don't know. And then there is a lid that fits on, so you can use it either. The lid fits either way. It's kind of funny when I bought this thing. I didn't think I'd have much use for it. I you know, said, so, well, it's an interesting device, might come in handy. Actually, it comes in really handy. Uh, making macaroni and stuff like that, but, or even boiled potatoes. But, it's also great for uh, when I'm canning tomatoes. You know, like I say, tomatoes are easy to can. If you're canning whole tomatoes. In fact, I'll probably go at that sometime today yet. But, to get the hide off them, what you do is you, you dip them in like boiling water for just a few seconds or you know half a minute then pull them out and put them in cold water the skin cracks and the skin will peel right off if you leave them too long it'll just turn them to mush they'll cook but if you just you know hit them for a little bit then it's easy enough to just take and cut the end off and slide the hide right off them put them right in the jar well, this perforated kettle works really well for that. I have no idea where I even got that, but I've had it a few years. But one other thing I was going to say, well, I'm doing this. You know, like these have got to, you know, once I get them in there, I'm going to have to start setting them on the stove and changing water and what I'm going to do enough for an experiment let the rest of them to dry out. But I had mentioned before, I don't get, I didn't used to get all these emails and notifications and stuff of YouTube. In fact, you know, since the first of the month I hadn't been getting any emails. Well, I thought, well, I, I should be getting some emails. <laughs> so, I went in there and messed around and found out it was a, a conflict between Microsoft and Google. You know, companies like that often don't like to play together. 
So Microsoft had changed something, so uh, Google didn't want to get any emails from Microsoft anymore. Well, I had to change that, now I get them. Well, oh man, I don't know how many of them there is back there. You know, that's been a long time since <laughs> since I got those, you know, since I haven't got them. You know, things like the uh, subscriber notifications when somebody subscribes to you. Well, I, I knew there was, you know, my channel I average like 200 a month new subscribers. Well, them notifications are all back there. They're waiting for me to to read them, but that's just an impossible task. And the same with the comments, you know, there's, there's comments going way back. But since I wasn't getting the emails, I'd have to look at the, the video itself to catch the comments. Well, that works fine if, if it's on a, a current, you know, one I just put up, I can catch, you know, the last two or three videos. Oh, man. You know, there's comments in there going back years ago. You know, so I don't know, I might just uh, figure out a way of batch deleting the whole works and, and get them off my back, but... You know, it used to be nice when I get the subscriber notifications because if somebody subscribed to me, then I would uh, often uh, check their channel out. And I picked up a few people that I subscribe to that way. You know, because they're, they're interested in what I'm doing, I'm probably interested in what they're doing. And then I a lot of times look and see uh, who they are subscribed to and check some of them channels out. You know, it was a good way. Because you certainly ain't going to get it in the recommendations on YouTube. They're only going to recommend you, you know, the crap that they want you to, to watch. Which is just ridiculous sometimes. But, you know, every time you go to your like when I go to YouTube, then I, it gives me my home screen, which shows me weird stuff that I, I don't quite know how they uh, calculate that out, but it continually shows me stuff that uh, I have no idea why they would even bother. <coughs> like there's <laughs> There's a video that's there every time I go there. That is a uh, old Lonesome George Gobo singing a song. He was an old comedian back when comedians were really funny. You know, uh, that's another thing I should go into sometime. Anyway, I don't know how it, it's it's latched into me and it thinks that that I gotta watch that. And I watched it. And you'd think once you watch something like that, it would go away, but nope, it's going to be there forever. I'm going to be stuck with George Goebel. You know, and there is a George Goebel a little skit I'd like to see to do with the diving pig that I saw a long time ago. But nope, they keep giving me this skyball paint. Or, uh, you know, they recommend videos that are from people, you know, five years ago, haven't made videos for four or five years. You know, I saw them back then. They keep recommending them to them again, me again. I don't know why it doesn't work that, you know, once you've seen a video, you would think it would quit recommending that video. You know, it seems pointless to, to keep harping on it, but I am stuck with George Goble forever. See, I think now, that's why I'm letting these dry out, I think as they dry out more, you'll get more of these cracks like that. Well, that'll make it a lot easier. But this is a good time, too. You know, one of the reasons I'm splitting these kernels, okay, like this one now, it's got a bad spot in it because there was some kind of critter got in there. So by taking apart and splitting that kernel, 
they can sort the bad ones out. Because there's some kind of weevil that, uh, well, it actually what happens, it, it starts, there's like an egg on the inside. No, no, I'm in trouble coming again. Well, I think I about said all I need to anyway. But I'm gonna leach these out on the stove several times and then we'll see what I can do with them. Yo, know, these are from a burr oak and supposedly no 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 I thought you were gonna give up. Supposedly a burr oak is got few of the tannins in them, so maybe maybe it'll work. <laughs> 